All right, so, so far so good. We can uh, move our image around and we can resize it and so on. So what we need to do now in this part is we are going to, to want to create a margin, a visible margin around here to represent this so that when we zoom in like this, we can still know exactly where the image is going to be clipped. So in order to do this, I'm going to use Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop, uh, please don't worry. I'm going to put a link to the image we're going to create in Photoshop in the description. But if you have Photoshop, uh, you don't need that link. You can simply do it yourself. So right here in Photoshop, what I need to do is create a new, new document. So we hit that new button and I have to make sure that the width is 400 pixels and the height is also 400 pixels. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a square image. So let's uh, create. Okay. All right. So the idea is to create those black outlines that are 50% transparent around here so that in our thing here, we can actually see which part is going to be clipped and which one will remain. So to do this in Photoshop, we go here to layers at the bottom right and hit new layer, or we can go to the menu at the top here and click new layer and just leave the default name there. And then what we do now is we get the paint bucket tool over there, paint bucket tool. And then on that same layer that we've created, we make sure we click down here to make sure that we're using black, we choose a black foreground color or whatever color it is that you want. And then we hit, uh, we click there to make the whole thing black. All right. So uh, the advantage of doing it this way is we can, you can actually decorate uh, your image like this because it's going to show up on the top of this to make it look unique. So you can add all kinds of decorations. All right, now in order to know where we need to cut, we need to cut some of this black image. Let's go to the rulers on the side. If you can't see these rulers, just go to view and then hit rulers. Make sure that rulers is ticked and it's going to show these rulers. So when you, once you see the rulers, just click on the top ruler, go drag down until you see it says 50 pixels because that's the margin. And then we click and drag again until we, it reaches 350. So 349, uh, 3, 350. And on the left side, we click and drag as well. One at 50, like that. And then we go and click another one at 350. Let's go down to 346, 49, 350. So this middle part, we need to delete. So let's go and click the select. You hit the select, hold. And uh, if you click and hold this button, you can select the rectangle marquee tool. And then go down here. Let me zoom this a little bit. Uh, too much. Let me go to view and say fit on the screen. Uh -huh. So now we go down here and click this corner. Make sure I'm on the right corner. Click and drag until it says 300 by 300. And then I'll hit delete. So that area becomes transparent. So I'll press Control D to remove the selection. Then I click, make sure I select my layer, go down here where it says opacity and move the opacity to 50%. I can simply type in the number here, 50%. And so the black image is now 50% transparent. All right, so this is all we need to do and save this image as a PNG. So you can totally skip this whole process and just download the image in the description. So let me save this as save this as let me go to my folder make sure that i'm in the right folder zamp my htdocs folder and the fb crop folder and then i save this as cropper.png so i i need to make sure i save it as a png and hit save save and we're done so i can actually close this and no need to save anymore and then close photoshop entirely all right, so back here, what we need to do is go back to our uh, cropper here and remove the background color so that everything is nice and clear now. And then we add the background image. So let me so and say background uh, image instead of color. Mm -hmm. URL, 
open bracket and let's say cropper that's what we named it dot png and let me save that now to make sure it fits nicely we say background background full colon and we say background size actually background size 100 percent space 100 percent full colon all right so let me go back and refresh the page and just like that now we have a nice box uh, to show us exactly what we are cropping and what we are leaving out so something like this <clears throat> excuse me all right so so far we are doing really really well okay this is a uh, pretty cool pretty cool all right so at this point we will need to do this is all for this part it's a very short one because i just wanted us to add this then the next one will be the final part where we actually crop the image we send the information to the cropper and then we have it crop this image as we like all right i'll see you in the next video